Yo, what's going on guys? Arax here and welcome back to another Monster Hunter World video. And today I want to put together a quick video to show you guys the first part of the USJ or Universal Studios Japan collaboration gear that's currently available in game. If you've been following my videos since before the game came out, then you likely will have seen this when I did a video on the announcement. But if not, then this is the collaboration gear. There's a set of armor for your hunter, a long sword and some gear for your palico. This is tradition for Monster Hunter. Previous games on 3DS had USJ collaborations and generally speaking, they look pretty sweet and the one in World looks incredible. Now, much like a lot of the collaboration quests coming to Monster Hunter World, this one comes in two parts. And part one currently allows you to craft the Azure Star Blade, a low rank longsword, and the Azure Star Palico set. The longsword looks pretty damn awesome, but as mentioned, it is currently only low rank. I believe the second quest will offer items that allow it to be upgraded, but for now, this is sadly going to have limited uses. Unless, of course, you're dropping into a low-rank lobby to help out some friends, and then you could use what you like. It has 363 attack, plus 120 water, and 20% affinity on top. As for the Palico gear, it's also low rank, so it similarly has limited utility. The weapon also has 20% affinity, and is a blunt weapon type. But, personally, I swapped out the weapon for something more powerful and just ran with gear. So, how do you get it? Well... That's the tricky bit, at least for now. See, unlike the Horizon Zero Dawn quest, this one doesn't just show up in the event quests on your quest board. This quest, given that it's tied to the actual USJ Park in Japan, requires a code. When you visit there, you get a code, you redeem it on your console, and the quest then shows up for the duration of the event. However, being a Japanese park, the codes only work on Japanese profiles. And seeing as Monster Hunter World only launched on PS4 in Japan, this is also, at least for the time being, only going to be available on PS4. But all is not lost. See, even if you can't redeem the code, you can still join someone else's lobby and join their quest if they host it. Now, it is indeed possible that we may well get this quest over here in the West by conventional means at some point down the line. It's what happened on the 3DS versions of Monster Hunter, so it could well happen here too. But at the moment, all while it's a Japan exclusive, there's still a way to get it. If you head over to your quest board and you go down to the online session, then select search for an online session. Select the filter search option, and then when it says quest preference, change this to event quests. What this will then do is only show you quest rooms that have been tagged as doing event quests. At this point, assuming there are event quest rooms going, you can then join the room, head over to the quest board, select join quest, and see what quests are available. Now, this is the part that requires some patience and a little bit of luck, since it's entirely possible that when joining an event quest room, people are instead doing the Horizon Zero Dawn quest, which is available from the board anyway. However, if you see someone posting this quest, USJ Gold Star Treatment, this is the quest you want. It'll have you hunt three Great Jagras, and the quest is actually pretty funny. There's one giant Great Jagras, one normal size one, and one that is really, really tiny. Kill all three, and in the post-quest rewards, you will get the Azure Star Shard. You will need six of these in total to make the longsword and all of the Palico gear. Three for the longsword, three for the Palico gear. I got one to drop each time, so I had to do the quest six times. Quick shout out to Ice Windfall for hosting this for me. He's a Twitch streamer from Taiwan, and he was hosting the quest and let me hop into his lobby to farm some pieces. But with that done, it'll then show up in your workshop. You can head over here, craft the items you want, and that's it. Now, as mentioned, with a bit of luck, we might eventually get this for ourselves over here, just like the other event quests. So if I do hear anything on that front, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But in the meantime, if you really want to get it, then keep an eye out for those event quest lobbies, and you might just have the chance to jump in and grab this for yourself. But for the time being, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, then a like would be super appreciated. Be sure to comment down below if you have any questions. And if you missed my Charge Blade weapon tutorial last night, I've linked it down below. It is the first in my series of weapon tutorials. There are more on the way, but definitely give it a watch if you guys haven't seen it. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.